a quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes and no questions, except one. Deal? deal on this Wednesday and what an amazing week it already is I mean considering that we are now at 285 shows to actually have two shows on Monday Tuesday that were shaping up to be our worst ever is quite extraordinary we had our game with Ken on Monday and he did get himself into the Hall of Fame for having the most appalling luck but then yesterday we had almost exactly the same thing with Valerie, and she actually eclipsed Ken until she found the little bit of extra courage. And I think she was a hero, frankly. I just saw her going at one point, and I thought, she's going to take 3,013, just as a consolation. But actually, she was made of sterner stuff. She went on to the end, we had the swap, and she went away, thankfully, with 10,000 pounds. Why do I say thankfully? Well, I'm pleased she's got the money. But also, we now have a psychological advantage over this man. And we want to carry that advantage, guys, so whoever comes out here, for goodness sake, show the steel. 22 identical sealed boxes. 11 in the West Wing, 11 in the East Wing, 22 different sums of money. And we still have yet to find a home for the quarter million. And we still are in our longest run without the quarter million being carried to the table. It's not a question of anybody chickening out or swapping and getting it wrong. It simply hasn't been here. So let's hope today's player has it in front of them now and is about to put it on the pound table. Let's choose. <music> Valerie had the courage to turn it around. How brave are you? Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, join me, please, in the crazy chair. Hi, welcome to your game. Thank you, Noel. Good to see you. Good to see you. Take a seat. Thank you. Before I get neck ache looking up there. <laughs> right. 26 shows. You must have wondered when your time would come. I was beginning to wonder. Yes, I was beginning to wonder, but uh, feel really good. Up for it. Excellent. So, Geoffrey King. Did I? From Kent. Which part of Kent? Uh, Hawkehurst. Uh huh. Uh, company director of a family property business and part time Toastmaster. Tell us more. Well, I was made redundant uh, on another job. I was sitting around wondering what to do. My brother-in-law, who plays in the band, said we ought to be a Toastmaster. I said, well, what do they do? And he told me what they did. So I went and was trained up in London. I've specialised mainly in weddings, um, which I enjoy, because every wedding, rather like every show is the same, it's, every show is totally different. Every wedding is the same. It's totally different. What about your attitude to gambling? I don't think it's a secret that I, I have been known to uh, gamble and roulette is my particular game. Numbers are my uh, thing. Already you've done enough over there to worry him. We know that because of the things he said to other people. This is going to be a very interesting tussle because you're being very honest and saying, yeah, I like a gamble. Um, it's not poker. It's not the poker face. It's straightforward luck or bad luck. Yeah. Um, do you want to tell us about the picks? Um, uh, this is uh, on my 50th birthday, and I know I don't look old enough, but sadly I am. Uh, it's my son, James, here, who is actually in the audience all the way from Australia, so I'm really thrilled. Hi, James. Uh, he's come all the way to see me, and he's here with me sharing this experience, so to me that's really lovely. My daughter, Colette. Next is my brother-in-law, Claude, who uh, is in the band and uh, 
a fantastic honky tonk pianist, and last but by no means least, my, least, my lovely wife Lorraine. I am really looking forward to this battle. So am I. And uh, I hope you're going to be fortunate enough to get the boxes that you deserve, and we get the game that we've been wanting. I'll do my very best. As I say, it's down to the numbers. I'll try and give you the Indeed. best numbers. Jeff, I need you to confirm that you chose box number three at random before the game. Yes, I did. Sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of the boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. And now we're going to go looking for it, but hopefully not with the same style exhibited by Ken and Valerie, who kind of went for the game board with a chainsaw. <laughs> we could do with something very different for you. Whatever happens, enjoy the moment. Jeff, good luck. Thank you. Start with Alistair, uh, 18, box 18, please. Thank you, Alistair. Well, Jeff, break a leg. <laughs> oh! Oh, <laughs> 50,000, please, we're not doing this again. OK. Change of plan slightly. I'll take 15, then, please, Lee. Lee, thank you. Break a leg, Jeff. Thanks, mate. 75! Oh. It's happening again! Third game in a row, everything focused on the power five. We've lost 50 and 75,000. Extraordinary. Right, let's go for number one, please. Madeline, welcome oh. to the game. Thank you. Can you please, as our newbie, just get over on the left-hand side? We do not want another one of these. I hope so. Thank you. I go for 19, Paul D. Good luck, yeah. Thanks. And break that leg. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. And last, Rachel, 14, please. Thank you, Rachel. Break your leg, Jeff. Thanks very much. Awesome. All right. Okay. All right, well. Uh... Interesting. Yeah, talk to me about it. Tell me, what's your appraisal of your own game this time? Well, I, 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 what I want to end up with is 100,250. That would be the dream scenario. They're still there, so the game is on. And, you know, I'm, not, I'm upset, of course, but they, those numbers have got to go. Do you know, it feels like a decade ago that we had that incredible game with, was it Matt? Where Matt, yeah. We got through to the second offer with everything intact. It was extraordinary. Hello, welcome to Jeff's game. How can I help you, caller? Ooh. He just said he considers you to be the most genuine and committed gambler that we've had in the history of the game. I thank him for that. That's a bit of a build-up, isn't yeah. it? Thank you. It's interesting. He's wishing you well. He said, break both legs. <laughs> <laughs> Take that as an even bigger compliment. Thank you. £10,000. Yeah. <laughs> We've never had that. Never had an offer of £10,000 with 75000 and 50000 having departed in the first round. That's a huge compliment. It is. I, I take it. I said I do take it. Well, the words are one thing, but he only deals in financial competence, yeah. and that is big, ten thousand yeah. pounds. Oh, that's good. Good start. It's, it's an extremely good start. It's going to have a quick sweep. Really? Just, yeah, I think just I want to get all the players involved and yeah. the contestant. But so, what do you want me to say to them? What would they do? Okay, you're sitting there. What would you do, Alistair? Uh, no deal. Jane. No deal. 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 No deal.
No deal. Thank you. Come on, guys. Now, if we're going to have the game we really want, we don't want to touch those two, because, as you say, perfection is to get to the very end with those two still there. OK. Uh, right. Uh, Kelly, number 20, please. Kelly, blue, please. Break a leg, Jeff. Thank you. Yeah! Elizabeth, number nine, please. Thank you, Elizabeth. You're a true gent, Jeff. Hope is blue. Oh, and break a leg. <laughs> well, that's all right. Okay. <laughs> and I think Karen, number 22, please. Sure? Yeah. I've got something else I've got to do. Go for a break? Well, I've got to leg it to a break. Oh, okay. <laughs> Leg a break. You'll be back. Hi, I'm... Welcome back to Jeff's game. Jeff the Gambler. Where did this break a leg thing come from? Um, it's, uh, it's been sort of handed down in, not family, but other gamblers I have met. And to say good luck to a gambler is bad luck almost. So you say it's rather like the Scottish play. Yes. Must not be mentioned. OK, well, hopefully you're going to have a major fracture now. Looking forward to it? Yep. Where are you going? I think I'll go to Karen 22, please. Karen, box 22 needs to be blue. Break a leg, Jeff. Yeah! yeah. So we're still That's on around. course for the dream scenario. The big two as the last two. And what's your feeling about this long run without the quarter mill appearing on the table? Because that's another interesting statistic. As the days have gone past, you think, well, it's going to happen today, it's going to happen today. And now we know it's going to happen today. So let's go for it. Yes. Yes. Hello. Yes. Oh, good. I'm glad that's chilled you right through. Yeah. Which would you like? His personal message first or the offer first? His personal. I respect him. I'd like his personal message first. Thank you. Good luck, good luck, Macbeth, Macbeth, <laughs> Macbeth. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Well, a similar sense of humour to me, sadly. £17,000. Oh, oh, Jeff. That is a very respectable offer. It's a good one, Dad. An extremely, extremely good offer, uh, considering the board. The top two are still there. Yeah. I'm glad that it's it's not a silly sort of uh, you know, mind game type thing. It is no, a straightforward offer. This is uh, almost mm. clinical, almost surgical oh, okay. in the delivery. <laughs> yes. Right, I'm ready for the question. Seventeen thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. <laughs> All right, to carry on. Your game. I'm going to go for the chicken at the end. 21, please, <laughs> Helen. <laughs> Helen, lay an egg and we want it blue. Break a leg, Jeff. Thank you so much. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> what the penny next? Right. I'll go for Howard, 12, please. Howard? We want another blue, please. Break a leg, Jim. Thank you. Yeah! Oh, mate. Bring it home. Well done. 
He's come all the way from Australia for that moment. I know. I have indeed. <laughs> I'm so glad he's here. It's it, wonderful to have him here. It was you that shouted, find the peace. Yes, it was, yeah. yes. <laughs> Very good. Well done. He's possibly. quiet and shy like me. You <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Young Paul. Fantastic guy. Rick, a long leg. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. He's relaxed about that. You've created quite a nice fallback ladder. And, crucially, your two most powerful boxes, the influence in the game, remains. How are you doing? You wouldn't mind sitting down, would you? <laughs> well, I, I might bring my son down later, who's six foot seven as well, so we'll. Have a Noel sandwich, which you won't be. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's better. Yes. Love this. After the pasting, the battering we've had so far this week, I am enjoying your game immensely. So am I. But we'll keep our decorum and make sure this rapport... Yes, absolutely. Is Respectful. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Not your day, is it? <laughs> what have you done to deserve this? You've been absolutely odious for about, well, nearly a year now. Another message? Yeah, there's all stuff about that Noel sandwich thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He wanted it to be a takeaway. <laughs> uh, let's focus on the game. 27,000. <laughs> 27,000 pounds, Jeff. Boy, oh boy, does he want you out of here. I can hear my wife screaming at me, but she knows what I'm like, so, at me. James? Um, I've been here for quite a while watching the shows, and that's the largest amount of money I've seen the dealer actually hand out, so, what I have advice to you, is keep playing. Thank you. <laughs> I'm ready for the question. £27,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. There is absolutely no logic to this fact after the really big offer, because that was a good, good offer, we have a crash and burn round. It mustn't be for you. Right. And uh, Nadini? Number two, please. Thank you, Nalini. Thank you. 35,000. Fallback's gone, but the big two are still there. OK. Sandra, number six, please. Spikey, we need this to be blue. I just don't want another one of those heartbreaker rounds after such a massive offer was declined. Hope it's blue, Jeff. Break a leg. Thank you, man. Yeah! Peter, number 17, please. All right, Peter. This, this is the crucial moment. We have seen a massive offer declined, and what seems to happen historically is the game then implodes because one of the big ones goes in this round. If we can get through this with those two in place, the offer is going to be huge, and we can still believe he's going to be our first quarter millionaire. See you in a moment. It's a fantastic game. We have to get the roof off, Jeff, and not have a groan. We don't want a groan box. 
We're going here? We are with Peter. Peter, not a grown box, please. Yeah, you're a great broke, Jeff. Break a leg. That's all right. like this for so, so long. This configuration has been eluding us for so long. You haven't seen it. This is great. Hello. Hello. You all right? Worst case scenario, can't you do better than that? Isn't this a nightmare? Thank you. Well, this is lovely. This is <laughs> so lovely, it's edible. He would normally look at the player and think, right, I think I know the exit fee. But you've got him totally baffled. Is this the figure to make you go? 36,000. <laughs> that, that's a lot of money. Can I bring my son down? Yeah, we well, just said it's a lot of money, Dad. I'm just going to move out of the way. That sandwich, <laughs> that sandwich idea really didn't appeal. <laughs> Not at all. Um, that's a lot of money. I know. It's, it's the most I've seen. However, um, Think carefully about it. I am. Um, I am. You to know when to hold them, know when to fold, fold them. them. Exactly. I would say that uh, there's. What, what are your thoughts? I, I want us to. I'd rather not say too much no, about course. that at the moment, but I, 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 I hear what you're saying. And Do you mind? I don't mean to be rude, but I didn't think he said very much. Well, it's all right. We've been... he, sort of, he sort of came down, sort of mumbled something, and then asked you what you were thinking. <laughs> Sorry, I was just saying that he's still got the 250, the 100,000. I haven't seen that since I've been here. Um, the 15,000 is back up. I believe that Dad's got the conviction to go for it, so I think he should be left to make that decision. Thank you. Okay, That's good. Okay. No what, what else do you want to do, Jeff? I just wanted to ask the audience if they think. Oh, thank you, James. If yes. uh, they think I should deal or no deal, stand up if they think I've. Away you go. Right, those that think I should deal, please stand up. It's interesting. Thank you. Well, guys, you know why I'm here. So, Noel, I'm ready for the question. It's produced a lot of conversation as well. As people going, oh, I don't know. £36,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. Right. Three more blues and then we'll be there. So, I'm going to go with uh, young Alan, if I may. 16. Okay. Alan, one of the strongest most exciting games we've had for a very long time. Please, Al, don't spoil it. Break a leg. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> Gaz, number seven, please. OK, Gaz, now it falls on your shoulders not to spoil the most powerful game we have had in months. Break a leg, Jeff. Aren't they? Yeah. Lovely audience. Well, because they want to see what we have waited nearly a year to see, which is somebody go away with a quarter of a million. You're still on course and you're in an incredibly powerful position. To roll out an all blue round now would be astonishing. Number 11. Oh, Mark, please. 
No pressure, but please, this is a magic game. Don't spoil the fairy tale. Smashing guy, Jeff. Break a leg. The blue jacket produced the all blue round at just the perfect time. Come on, Jeff. Come on, guys. To get to this point with those two there and only one blue. Brilliant. This is going to be uh, one of the more important phone calls of your life, Jeff. Yeah. Hello? Sixty-four thousand. Awful. Sixty-four thousand pounds. Massive sum of money. The spooky thing is, and I know, I had a dream several weeks ago, and I was left with those two numbers. But on the on the other hand. It's, you might well say 67,000. 64. Sorry, <laughs> worth a try. <laughs> worth a try. <laughs> Thank you, 64. Oh. <laughs> I'm always going to say drop it. Have a, have a word with your adversary. Hello. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, I wasn't pushing it. But um, it's nice to talk to you. I've heard so many people talk about your voice. Very kind of you to beg like that. Uh, <laughs> no, no, all right. That's between you and me. Yeah, okay. Just between you and I. Okay. Okay. Very nice to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, interesting voice. Right. Anyone got anything to say, guys, girls? <laughs> Yes, Jeff, you always said you'd go all the way. I mean, if it was me, I'd probably deal, but you've always said that. And to have those two big numbers up there. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? <laughs> if you're not ready, I'll, I'll take longer. It's not. <laughs> 64. Thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Deal. This, honestly, this is one of the most fascinating situations we've ever had. Um, because I think, at the moment, one has to give some credit to the banker. Yeah, right. I think he pitched it very cleverly at 64,000. It was a very clever offer. If it had been under 60, I would have carried it's on. It's just such a... Even, you know, I think even 62, it just sort of... 61, it just... 64, for some reason, just... You couldn't decline it. I think we all understand. Jeff, we need you to play on now. Yep, no, I'm ready for that. And let's just see whether you would have created now the next dream round, because the last round was fantastic. Number 10, Mad Jane. Lovely Mad Jane. Jane, please open box 10. We want to see where this game would have gone. 
thousand. Perfect. The great gambler would have been very pleased. We would have been screaming and cheering. Box two. Number five, please. Number five. Katie, we want to see those big ones. Oh! oh. Perfection. Absolute perfection. Jeff, you were on to something massive here. £250 has gone. Mary, number eight, please. Mary, we have to see one of the big numbers. We really have to see the quarter of a million. If this is 15,000, the ace gambler is really going to be fed up. Go for Mary. Yeah! Yeah! Are you relieved, sir? Just a tad. <laughs> Just a tad. <laughs> right. At this point, we would have been left with a massive sum of money still in the game, but this would have been the offer. Thank you. Genuinely, he would have offered you, at this point, £55,000. Fifty-five thousand. You would have been nine thousand down. Maybe recovering the situation. What would you have done? I probably would have gone. I, uh, uh, no doubt, I would have gone. You on. would have gone on. Probably, yeah. Because right. I had a fear for that two fifty. I, I don't know why. Uh, I just thought it was going to go. And... Okay. Well, at the moment, this is perfection. You dealt at sixty-four thousand. Was that a really clever move? Or should the ace gambler have gone on? And are you going to have a nagging doubt for the rest of your life that your courage left you at the wrong moment? Here comes the answer, Jeff. No! Never mind. You could have been richer to the tune of 100,000. Yep. One of our biggest ever winners. Never mind. It's been great. Would you please open box 13 and complete this extraordinary... There it is, the 15,000 is over there. I love it. Really enjoyed it. Courage, tenacity and excellent timing. Unfortunately, if you'd really, really been true to your gambling instincts, you would have been better off to the tune of another 36,000. But that's not bad, is it, Jeff? No, it's a good day's work. Jeff, £64,000. <laughs> And now we're going to find out whether you have won £10,000. That's the maximum amount in one of these hairdos... Uh, boxes, sorry. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your head? My head? Yeah, it's kind of gone mad. <laughs> Try to mimic you. Try to get it. <laughs> Oh, fair dues, fair dues. And your name? Mark. Mark, could you say one, two or three? Uh, three. Thank you. Mark believes box number three is the one that should be opened. So please do. Two thousand there. <laughs> Ladies, would you open the other two? Thank you. <laughs> Ten was at that end. One was in the middle. Hey, well done you. Two thousand pounds. Well done you. Sixty-four thousand. And I meant it. I really am going to miss him. He's brought a real quality to the game and he's helped to these people enormously. And his legacy is going to be that they had so much faith in him and they saw the faith rewarded with £64,000 that they will come out here with a lot more confidence. And we need that. We had a really bad start to the week. And when we come back tomorrow, I think this place is going to be buzzing. Make sure you're here as well. Feel the buzz. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah!